Hello friends, welcome to Ofa Studies YouTube channel. This is part 31 in Azure Databricks playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about how we can access ADLS Gen2 account or a Blob Storage account using SaaS token from the Databricks notebook. So, what is SaaS token? You need to understand first. I am not going in detail about it. So, in our previous videos, we have seen like how to access storage account using account key, and also we have seen how to access storage account using service principal ID, right? So like we, we know every storage has a key with that we can connect to storage and access the data right. So similarly there is something called SAS token shared access signature. So with this token also you can connect to your storage accounts and then access data from it. So you can think like uh, this is like a token right as name says shared access token right. So that is the reason these tokens are like a um, it have some validity in it. So you can define a validity only for one hour this token should work or only for two days this token should work. So like that we can actually define a validities for those tokens okay. So let's not think too much about SAS token for now. For now imagine like SAS token is a some token or a key that was given to you to access the storage and data for a limited period of the time. So if you want to access the storage account data using that SAS token then you have to set all these configurations on the spark cluster using this code. You can see here spark.configuration.set this function will help you to set some configuration on top of the cluster to access the storage. So please watch my previous videos as well where I have discussed about how to access storage account using account key and service principle so that you will get most out of it and the similar kind of code we used there as well. So in case of the SAS token we have to use these cases fs that means file system dot azure dot account dot authentication type dot here you need to use a storage account name then dfs dot code dot windows dot net so this is the key for this key we are supplying SAS as a value that means we are going to say to cluster like I am going to use a SAS token protocol now to connect with the storage and the second key is going to be like the same thing fs dot azure dot sas dot token dot provider type and then your storage account name and then dfs dot code windows dot code net so this is a key so using this key we are going to say to our cluster that for the sas token so this is the provider of that sas token with which you have to authenticate and read the data or write the data whatever you want to do the third key final key will be same thing so here we have to actually the use the token as a value whatever you generated from the storage when i practically show you that you will make more sense of it so let me go to azure portal so this is my azure portal so in this azure portal i have a storage called maybe let's assume adls mahir so i want to access this storage account using a sas token from the databricks notebook so how to do that so to do that what you can do when you go to adls mahir that means when you go to your storage account in your case simply navigate to the stared access signature menu here and here you can select like what and all the services should be allowed and what and all the allowed services types for this token and what and all the permissions to give you can select all this value for now i am selecting everything and here you can set the expiry so from this time to this time only this token will be valid once that time is uh, crossed so once these times are crossed then this token is not valid at all so we can set all that so if i scroll down you will see a button here called generate sas token right you can see this button so once you click this this button you can actually generate a sas token so let me hit this generate sas token to generate a sas token and if i scroll down you can see sas token is generated here let me copy this sas token and let me go to databricks notebook so before going to that here let me paste this sas token in my note one note sorry in my notepad and let me go here so in the databricks let's try to create a new notebook for this demo maybe xyz notebook this is the name of the notebook python is a default lagger demo cluster let me hit create button to create a notebook and i have already created a cluster called a demo cluster which is a normal uh, basic cluster okay uh, no need to think much about it if you see my previous videos where i created a cluster you will come to know right so here let me go to notepad let me copy this code what i have shown in the presentation slide so this code actually does the same thing whatever just now i said see this is a key information so my storage account name is adls mahir right so let me use that adls mahir is my storage account name then sas is the key value for this key then here we have to provide the provider information so adls mahir is my storage account name then this is the provider information then here again let's try to use the adls mahir my storage account name and then here i should use a 
actual token what is generated so let's go back to notepad let me copy this token remember one thing don't copy this question mark okay so exclude the question mark and copy the entire token and now let me hit shift enter button to execute this code this code is going to set this configuration and set this token in the cluster so since now my cluster has the token and other information we can very easily read the information so now let's write a code like spark dot in on the spark dot read dot csv function we can read a csv files right so let's use this abfss then sample container name we have to use so this is you know right from the previous name the protocol or the syntax of writing the url then after sample container we have to use a storage account name which is adls mahir then we have to use dfs dot core dot windows dot net so this path will point to the container and inside the container uh, let's try to uh, there is a employee dot csv file so let me show you that let me go to containers and let me go to sample container so inside the sample container i have a folder called data and there is a file called employees.csv file let's assume we want to read this file from the store uh, uh, sorry databricks notebook using the sas token so now here let's go here so this points to my container right so inside the container under data folder employees.csv file right so let me use this under data folder employees.csv file and if you see this is csv file inside the csv file first row is header so let's use let's mention that as well here so header equals to true that means first row is header so whatever the code i, re, I written here it is going to generate a data frame and give it bash so let me create a variable called df and let me store my data frame into this variable df and here in the second line i am going to use a display function and i am going to pass my data frame variable to it to display the results whatever it read from this csv let me hit shift enter button to execute this code now let's wait for the program to execute now you can see i am able to successfully read the data so how this magic is happening the moment i written this code how this magic happening is because of this token what i used it here since in the cluster i configured this token and i said to my cluster that whenever you try to access this storage try to use the token and then try to access the data and uh, since the token is still valid it will it used the token and it authenticated and then it is able to read the data also from the employees.csv file successfully so not only reading the data you can write the data you, you can do many things right depending upon the sas token permissions what you have given so as i shown before right whenever you try to generate a sas token there itself you can see like what and all the permissions you can give so let me practically show you that once again you need to go to shared access signature and here you can say what and all the permissions are allowed so all these permissions if you have then you can do anything actually if you don't have a right permission then you cannot write okay so i hope you got an idea about how to access my adls gen2 account or a storage account using a sas token from the databricks notebook thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much